The Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, has called on nations in the community, especially Nigeria, to push for more women representation in the regional body. The Speaker of the Parliament, Sidi Mohamed Tunis, made this known while addressing journalists at a decolonized meeting on energy transition in the sub-region held in Freetown, the Sierra Leone capital. We want to popularize the whole idea of the affirmation action, the target percent quota for women. Nigeria is key in all of this because in the ECOWAS parliament we are suffering. Uh, out of 35 representatives from Nigeria, we only have two women, which is really, really, really not good. I'm hoping to engage, I'm hoping to engage the next speaker in the Nigerian National Assembly and the President of the Senate to encourage them to have more women in the ECOWAS parliament this time around. And uh, we also immediate now that nigeria is already they are having their elections we intend to ensure that in future since they actually have uh the the population we want to have a special program for nigeria just for nigeria to encourage the stakeholders there the political leadership members of uh, i mean the leadership of political parties to ensure that they have women on their tickets not just for the national assembly for even the local government uh, assemblies so those are the things that we plan to do and for the parliament like i said we have a whole year program this is just the beginning we're supposed to have another program like i said here butcher the town hall meeting where we are even inviting mps members of parliament from rwanda you know to come and share their experience with us in the ECOWAS parliament we also going to have workshops in member states uh, I cannot tell now which one of them, but I know uh, Cote d'Ivoire is one of them, definitely. And uh, the idea is to ensure that we do not just pass laws. The idea is we, not to just sit here and just be talking, but one action. What we, the advocacy that we have been doing in Sierra Leone, we should be able to do it in other countries in West Africa to ensure that the entire sub-region follow the affirmative action to ensure that we have the minimum 30 percent quota for women across the board and like i said my target at this time before i leave office in 2024 is nigeria i really really want to engage the leadership of nigeria from the senate from the national assembly and the presidency uh, i wish uh, president buhari was going to be in office for a few more years because I had already started conversation with President Buhari. Unfortunately, he is leaving. So I will now have to start with the new president. That's just, that's just it. That's just a situation where we have to live with.